Right, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, everybody. Um, here, I would like to explain exercise 64. Uh, the question is to calculate the area of the cuboids uh, in the figure below. Uh, if necessary, multiply out the brackets and even simplify. So, uh, let me just uh, start. Um, the first cuboid is um, maybe the easiest one. Um, we're gonna start, and I'm always gonna start, don't tell me why, uh, but on the right side. Yeah, so um, to calculate the area, it is uh, the length times the width, or the length times the height. So this is x, and that's 2x. Yeah, so x times 2x, but we have two of them. Yeah, so um, at the first one, exercise A, it is x times 2x, uh, you can say times 2, or you can also say plus, again, x times 2x. All right, so x times 2x is 2x squared, and again, x times 2x is 2x squared, so together it is 4x squared. So that's the right and the left side of my cuboid. Then the front side, it is 8 times the height, so times 2x. So 8 times 2x plus the height is exactly the same, so 8 times 2x again. 8 times 2x is 16x, 8 times 2x is again 60x, so together it is 32x. There you go. Now at the bottom, so that's 8 and that's x, so it is 8 times x plus above the roof of my cuboid, it's also 8 times x. So it is 8x plus 8x is exactly the same as 16x. Now you need to add the three answers, so 4x squared plus 32x plus 16x is together 4x squared plus 48x. Alright, so that's the first one, exercise A. Exercise B, uh, we're gonna do exactly the same. So. A times 6, so I'm gonna write down 8 times 6 plus again 8 times 6. So that's 6a plus 6a is to get a 12a. Now that's part 1. Then the front side, it is 8 plus 2 times the height times 6, or 6 times a plus 2. Yeah, so 6 times inside brackets a plus 2 because the a plus 2 belongs together and we're gonna do it again because behind you will find exactly the same uh, size. 6 times a is 6a and 6 times 2 is 12 plus again 6 times a is 6a and 6 times 2 is 12. So together it is 12a plus 24. All right. Then under it is a times a plus 2. So a times again inside the bracket a plus 2. And we need to do it another time. There you go. a times a is a squared. a times 2 is 2a. Then again a squared plus 2a. So together it is 2a squared plus 4a. And now we're gonna add the three answers. So you get uh, 12a plus 12a plus 24 and plus 2a squared plus 4a. Now together it is 2a squared plus 
12 plus 12 is 24, plus 4 is 28a, and then plus 24. There you go. So that's the answer from exercise B. Then the last one, exercise C. Um, I'm going to start at the right side again. A times P minus 3. So A times inside the brackets P minus 3, because those belong together, plus, again, A times P minus 3. A times P is AP. A times minus 3 is minus 3A. And again, AP minus 3A. Now, need to simplify it. Then you get 2AP minus 6A. Yeah, so this is 2AP and that's minus 6A. All right. So right here we have already the right and the left side. Then in front of the cuboid it is 2p times p minus 3 and even exactly the same as behind. So um, 2p inside the brackets p minus 3 plus again 2p and then p minus 3. 2p times p is 2p squared 2p minus 3 is minus 6p, and again, plus 2p squared minus 6p. And that will be 4p squared minus 12p. Now, then the last one, under and the top, so 2p times a, 2p times a, plus again 2p times a, because the roof has the same size. Then you get 2AP, alphabetical order, and then again 2AP, and that's together 4AP. Now we need to add all those answers, that one, this one, and that one. So you get 2AP minus 6A plus 4p squared minus 12p and plus 4ap. Now, I always start with the highest power, so you get 4p squared, this part. Then the ap's, so you have 2ap and 4ap, so that's together plus 6ap. Um, this is just a lonely term, so minus 6a and then minus 12p. So, if you had, for example, um, 6ap uh, plus 4p squared uh, minus 12p and minus 6a, that's exactly the same answer. Yeah, why? Because the terms are still the same. Same. This is a minus 6a, this is minus 12p, and this is still a positive 4p squared. Alright, so uh, that was exercise uh, 64.